Hi there, it's Sam Mackay from Enterprise DNA. Okay, so today we are gonna look at how you can automatically set some budgets in your data. Now, I've showcased a few, say, forecasting examples around this where you can project numbers forward, but in this case, what I wanna show you is how can you actually set a budget? Like, instead of having to generate one in Excel, how can we automatically grab information that we already have and then put it into a table and then set that budget so that it doesn't move, it just is a, a, a physical number and, 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 and it suggests, okay, well, the budget for the state is X or the budget for this month is X. Um, and so I'm gonna show you how you can use the table feature inside or the table feature and function feature inside of Power BI to generate these tables automatically. And then um, you, what you can do is you can actually add some logic in there which actually adjusts it around a bit. Okay, so let's uh, let's let's jump in and do that. Now, what I do whenever I use this new table feature here, I always go to this section right here because I want to see the result. As soon as I push Enter, I want to see what the result is actually going to give me. And you can also test things a lot quicker and stuff and stuff like that. So, um, so so I always always start in here, always start in here, and then I'm going to just go new table, and I'm going to call this one regional. We'll call this regional budgets. Okay. And this is where we, we write in our logic. Now remember, a table function has to be a, a table, uh, we have to write in a table um, a formula. So a formula within um, use, utilizing DAX uh, that only returns a table, right? And, in, and in think about it logically, that's exactly what we're trying to do. We're trying to create some budgets, but we need to obviously divide our budgets up by something. In this case, we're gonna divide it up by, um, by our state. Okay, so I'm going to use a, a table function called add columns, and then if we have a look at what add columns asks us for, it asks us for a table, then the name of something, and then an expression. So the table is going to be, in this case, we're going to create a table of the state, uh, and then we're going to name this, uh, we're going to name the, the next column, because you've got to think we're building a table here. The next column we are going to name budgets, and then this, this expression is where we're going to write in our logic, which actually gives us the budget number. Okay, so then I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go values here, I'm gonna go values, and this is where I'm gonna go by state. So I'm actually gonna go state, um, the state's column, and so that's gonna give me one column of each of us, each state referenced once, because that's what values does. And then for the name, I'm gonna go, um, I'm gonna go budgets. Now, how, how do we get our budgets? Well, you get these a number of different ways, right? Well, in this case, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to, I'm just gonna go and grab last year's numbers, right? I'm gonna go grab 2016's numbers, like so, as easy as this. So I'm gonna go 2016. And you know, as, as you do with most budgets, well, we think we're gonna increase our, our revenue from last year across each state by 7%. We're ambitious, we think we're, we're a growing company, right? And so all we've gotta do is um, um, you know, increase it there by 7%, and then I'm gonna go okay. And check that out. You'll see that we now have the static number that could is, is, is being basically extrapolated from our results last year, but we've added some additional um, factor in there to actually increase it by a certain amount. And then this table now actually sits in our model, right? And then we can start utilizing it with the rest of our data. And so, you know, historically, you might have brought this table in from your database or Excel or something like that. Well, this is just how you can generate it automatically. Now, some of you might also say, well, my budget's more complex than that. Well, yes, it, they, they are a lot of times. Um, so what I'll show you here is how you can add just a little bit more um, complexity and then I'll leave it up to you to, to work out how you might ultimately need to do this yourselves based on the data that you've got. So what I want to do is I don't want to just look at, this is a yearly number, right? So we would, if we were to then go and analyze this over our sales information, we would need to use a budget allocation to be able to allocate this number across an entire year. Well. The big problem there is that you know when you sell something, there's some seasonality usually in your numbers, right? And so you probably actually want to break this down by month as well. Now, so what we can do here, we can actually build that table. We can we can do that. We're just going to add some logic inside here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go. I'm going to use this function called cross join, and I'm going to I'm going to make this initial table inside of add column slightly differently because I'm going to add to it. I'm going to add values. I'm going to add values. I'm going to add the month name in here. And what cross join is going to do is it's basically going to bang these two columns together and then give me um, one uh, row for each combination that is possible with these two particular columns. So if I go enter, and so this logic is still going to work um, underneath that, which is going to be good. 
Okay, so you see now that this table is now bigger, right? It's still um, creating a budget based on this logic, but it's now creating it based on every combination that we can get between these two. Now there is one issue here. Now this this blank here, it's mainly to do with, I think, uh, I believe the month name column. So what we need to do, so values sometimes actually returns a, 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 a blank value, but we can get rid of that by using a function called distinct because that always um, does not bring that, that blank value and then now we have a much cleaner table. And you can see now that each um, each region and each month now has an individual budget and so we're going to get the seasonality impact between each of those different regions that we sell to. Okay, so I'm gonna I'm gonna round off this video. Um, you know, I've, I've, I've I've gone through what I wanted to. I've showed you a few things there. You know, the first one is how you can use this new table feature. So if you haven't um, realised, you can actually generate tables from writing table functions. So it's really really powerful for for you know for, for things exactly like this, where we instead of having to you know go and create an Excel table and everyone fill in you know the budgets, well we can just generate it based on um, numbers we've already got. Um, you know, which is probably the best thing to go by um, out of anything. And then we can add this additional logic. This, I mean, this is just simple. We're going up 7%. Well, you might want to add a few other things there, so you certainly can. And you might even want to um, make this even more complex and look at more historic data. So lots of different ways that you can ultimately utilize uh, this very same technique. Um, but so, you hopefully found this useful and hopefully you can see how this could be applied. You know, it might not only be budgets, it could be, it could be product budgets, it could be, um, it could be forecasts, it could be benchmarks, it could be lots of things. Lots of different ways that you could utilize the same technique. Okay, so um, as always, you can you can download this resource. I'll make it available uh, inside Enterprise DNA TV resources. It does require a purchase, but check out the description below for that. And yeah, if you like the content and um, you learned a lot during this video, uh, really appreciate a like. That'd be awesome. Um, and don't forget to subscribe. Don't uh, putting out a lot of videos on on Power BI, so uh, be great to um, get those out to you as soon as they come out. Okay, all the best with this one. Good luck.